This is the Bartholo Coal Company from Fine Scale Miniatures, and it's the second structure that will be part of my American Frontier Town diorama. It's also the second Fine Scale Miniatures kit that I've ever done, the first one being my previous video. This came about completely by accident. I was just scrolling through eBay and uh, came across this for a really decent price, and it was in the UK, which was even more surprising. So uh, I just had to get it and find a place for it. According to the SFM Kits Homestead site, this is the Dual Series number 9 kit, and it came out in 2006 and was limited to 800 copies. In this video though, I'm just making the coal company itself and not the other two side buildings. It's the same great quality as the last kit I did, with all the same attention to detail and instructions and metal castings, etc. The first thing I did was clean up all the walls and add some nail holes with a pounce wheel. Then I braced the walls per the instructions and went ahead and started staining the walls with some of these tester bottles. I made photocopies of the instructions, uh, figure cards, and sprayed a very light amount of 3M spray adhesive to the paper, just so that the um, construction of the roof shoots was easier. I photocopied the instructions so that I could redo anything if any mistakes were made. Here you can see I used some folk art crackle medium on all the walls before adding the initial paint coat which was just some Vallejo red and a little tiny bit of Vallejo uh, mahogany just to dull it down slightly. It took a few coats to get the walls looking as distressed as I wanted them to look. Uh, I also ended up lightly sanding some of the clapboard with sandpaper and also used a metal wire brush. Then I made my own little painted sign, and I did this by creating my own stencil using the uh, laser cutter and painting over it with white. These side walls were really simple to put together using the instruction cards. Here I'm using super glue gel uh, on the end of a toothpick to insert the windows. I 
I used Aileen's tacky glue to assemble the walls. Here on the bottom you can see the card that came in the kit for the underneath of the building, uh, as well as the lines for the cross beams. This roof piece was a little bit awkward to glue down, but using the uh, one, two, three blocks really helped. Here you can see that I've added the corrugated metal to the roof, which came in the kit. Uh, I just used a little bit of brown spray paint to weather them up a bit. The little wooden spacer for the roof shoots is what you're instructed to use to make sure that you're getting the spacing right and that comes in the kit. Because this building had three distinct roof sections, I wanted to make them all different for the sake of uh, making it a bit more visually interesting. So the top one is, of course, corrugated metal, and this short side is tar paper and wooden planking, and then the long side is shingled. I didn't want to use the roll of shingles that came in the kit, so I made some of my own and cut them on sticky back paper in the laser cutter. These are little nut bolts that you glue into the beams and you've got to make four of these exactly the same. And here you can see me gluing them to the underneath of the building. This coal chute was pretty well designed and simple, it's just a solid piece of wood that you add the boarding to all the sides of. And this coal bed is made up of pre-cut wood that comes in the kit, although you have to notch out those little bar holes yourself. It's supposed to be a concrete construction so I scatter sprayed with a few different colours from uh, spray cans and then gave it an airbrushing of Vallejo UK Lightstone. This is the MDF base for the diorama that will be finding a place on the larger plywood base. You can watch my previous video to know what I'm actually talking about here, but for the time being, this is the base that this will be housed on for now. I cut out the hole using a jigsaw so that the coal bed can fall right into place, and I added a piece of XPS foam to the surface. I wanted the building to be built into the side of like a large elevation or a kind of a hill, so I used layers of XPS foam to get the right kind of form that I wanted and then I used sculptor mold to add the texture. Then I just did a light paint job with 
browns and beiges to create that kind of earth look. Here you can see my box of stones and soil and grout and crap uh, that I use to create the terrain, which I glued in place using some Geek Gaming Scenic Spray Glue. And I also added a little bit of leftover track from the last project to run over the coal bed. This little add-on was a last minute decision. I actually found it on eBay for a few quid. It's a Banta Model Works dynamite storage shed made of hydrocal plaster. The paint job basically consisted of painting the whole thing black and then dry brushing various stone colours over the top. After it was painted, I planted it into the side of the elevation and added all the static grass and flocking, foliage. You can see I've added some random bits of debris here and there. Then I fit the coal chute in place and finally added some miniature coal. This actually wasn't in the kit, but luckily I had quite a lot left over from the previous fine scale miniatures kit that I did. And that's it for this build. Here are some pictures of it that I managed to take outside. I actually don't have a proper plan for how this larger diorama is gonna look. But I'm basically just making structures and hoping that it will eventually come together. But hopefully you'll be able to get a better impression of how it's all gonna look as a whole in the next video. Thanks a lot.